Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing? It's Professional here. Today I want to make another top 5 list video for you guys. I was thinking of another top 5 video to make, I looked through some comments, and this one is a fan requested one as well. I made a video almost an entire year ago, titled Top 5 Worst Features Added to GTA Online, and one person posted that he wanted me to make a top 5 best features added to the game. I never made one, so I decided to now. Now for features, we're going to be looking at general gameplay elements such as activities and properties and other useful things added. We're not going to be looking at things that were in the game's start, but ones that have been added over time. Also, you guys can always request a top 5 video, I'm always open to suggestions, so if you guys want me to make a specific top 5 video, you know, post that down below, and I'm always open to suggestions. So now, let's get started. Starting off at number 5, we have heists. These were first added on March 10, 2015 as part of the heist update. Heists are one of the main reasons that GTA Online grew into what it is now today. It attracted a lot of people to this game. Before heists were added, there wasn't much to do in the game. I mean, think about it this way. What did we have to do in GTA Online in late 2013 and all of 2014? We just had contact missions, some adversary modes, some free mode activities, but not much more than that. Heists added a brand new 4 player co-op activity, where you could use your apartments to set up a heist with your friends, you could then make much more money than these contact missions, these adversary modes, and these free mode events. Not only did they add a new heist, but they added 5 heists in total, all with numerous missions and new vehicles. The heist update added so many new vehicles, ranging from the Savage to the Insurgent to the Hydra. This was a massive update with a lot of content. The heists were fun, but they were not as great as single player in my opinion, where you had much more approaches and much more different roles, but they definitely did add something different and unique. The main downside of the original heist was that you needed three other people to help, and this wouldn't always work out. Almost everyone who has done heists has had at least one failure, where some random person didn't know what they were doing and they ruined the heist. This can make heists frustrating, but they are good sources of money for team players. The Doomsday Heist came out on December 12, 2017, and it added even more heists, and it added a ton of content again, and a new property. The Doomsday Heist, it improved the original heists in that you only needed two people, and you could split the cut much larger between the two. Heists were definitely a great addition, however Rockstar, they should really consider increasing the payouts on the older heists to encourage more people to play them, because the Doomsday Heist, they have less setups, they pay more, and they can be done with two people versus four for the original heists. At number four, we have Business Battles. This was added as part of the After Hours DLC on July 24, 2018. Business Battles were a very good addition to Free Mode, because it added more life to it. We had Free Mode events, which some paid good, others no, but many, they didn't really have an incentive to participate, and a lot of people, they didn't do the Free Mode events in the past, but Business Battles, they were much better. Business Battles, they remind me a lot of the old Free Mode activities, which Rockstar should really consider bringing back, like Armored Car Robberies. Business Battles were linked directly to the new nightclub business. They would spawn every 15 minutes in smaller lobbies of around 3 players, and around every 30 minutes in larger lobbies of free mode events. Around every 30 minutes after a free mode event would end, it would reset the timer, so every 15 minutes after a free mode event, up to 30 minutes spawning in those lobbies. And these, the Business Battles, they were a new activity where a random crate or a vehicle would spawn. It could either be weapons, product, or cargo. If you picked both up and delivered them, you would get around $20,000 in your bank account, and also the cargo in your nightclub. The nightclub, it's the ultimate passive business, because it would always be producing no matter what, but you could also fill it up even faster with business battles. You could also destroy the business battle vehicle, and it would spawn two crates, which you could split with your friend. Business battles are really fun, because they're very different ones. There's so many different activities, so many different missions related to them, and they can be even better in the future. Imagine if business battles spawn CEO crates, top range cars, guns, and product for the bunker. Not supplies, but imagine you could actually fill up your MC business faster by stealing meth or coke or guns for your bunker. They should really improve business battles with that, and make them spawn more frequently. That would definitely add more fun activities. I always enjoyed rushing to the business battle before other players. It actually encouraged PvP for a legitimate reason here, and it was fun. It was a great addition to free mode, they should definitely add more stuff like this in the future. Next at number 3, we have VIP work. VIP work was revolutionary when it was first added. VIP work finally added missions that we can start on our own in free mode. We did not need to wait for a free mode event to spawn or go into a contact mission. We could now start our own VIPs and start these missions right in free mode. VIP work first launched with executives and other criminals on December 15, 2015. At first, we needed a million dollars to start a VIP, and it only lasted for four hours, and we were limited to certain jobs like sightseer and hostile takeover. However, this was vastly improved on June 7, 2016, ironically my birthday, 
with the release of further adventures in Finance and Felony, we could now own offices and do unlimited VIP work. We also had brand new VIP works added like Headhunter. What was wonderful about this was that you could do this in between other activities like businesses, free mode events, and other activities. You could also do it as a team activity. Invite your friends and you can do the job even faster. And the best thing about VIP work was that if you completed it really fast, you still got around the same payout if you took longer. You could get a little more money if you took longer, but it wouldn't be that noticeable. In contact missions, the longer you took, the more money you get. So here, you could do VIP work even faster and make much more money than contact missions. Plus, your associates would get around $5,000 every 15 minutes, up to $10,000 every 15 minutes depending on how much businesses you're running, and all the money from the VIP work. VIP work has been such a great addition that even though it has been added over three and a half years ago, people to this day are still playing it. There's a ton of VIP work out there, a lot of fun, Headhunter, where you blow up four targets, there's um, there's Sightseer where you collect three packages around the map, there's Hostile Takeover where you steal a package, you bring it back, there's just so many. And they were also added with Import-Export, but those were limited to vehicles. I just hope that in the future, we get even more VIP work, and it's not just limited to those vehicles. With the Import-Export update, we had more VIP work, like I said, but you had to buy the new vehicles to play them, which was unfortunate. I was really hoping that with Gun Running and Smugglers Run, we would get new VIP work, maybe like one with the APC where you drive around the APC VIP work, maybe like a Smuggler's Run one where you have to use a certain plane, but we haven't gotten any new VIP work for years. New VIP work should be added and it make it profitable and make it fun. I guarantee you a lot more people would play it because to this day, I still see a ton of people playing Headhunter and Sights here. A lot of people are still doing this to this day. That shows that VIP work was very successful. Moving on at number two, we have the Terabyte. This is one of the best things added to GTA Online as it has so many different uses. The best uses of the Terabyte are the ability to source CEO crates and import-export vehicles. The reason the Terabyte is so good here is because you can spawn it from the interaction menu, it spawns a few blocks from you, and you can go to it and use it to spawn crates, import-export cars. You can also use it to steal supplies as well if you want, but I personally recommend buying supplies over stealing supplies, but that, but that option is there if you want to steal it. Being able to source crates and cars, it saves a lot of valuable time. The number one thing I hated about crates was having to go back to the office each time to source more. You would source some crates, then you would go all the way back to your office, sit down at the computer, source crates, leave the office, deliver them, and repeat. It just got frustrating. With the terabyte, you can just get into it and spawn another crate. Same for top range cars, but the terabyte, it gets even better. It allows you to customize your weapons as well, adding in client jobs also. The terabyte has brand new client jobs. These are separate from VIP work and can only be launched from the Terabyte. You get around $30,000 for most client jobs. All of these combined make the Terabyte one of the best vehicles in the game and definitely one of the best purchases in the game. Before I unveil the number one best feature in GTA Online, I wanted to make two special mentions. My first special mention is the MOC and Avenger customization. These two vehicles were great. I personally think the Avenger is a better vehicle because it's the air vehicle, but both of these vehicles were great additions. They take a lot of damage, they have a lot of armor, and in these vehicles, you can store special vehicles in the back and you can customize them. And certain vehicles that you already had, like the Insurgent Pickup Custom, you could add even better upgrades too. So allowing you to upgrade your special vehicles in a vehicle that you can spawn a few blocks from you was definitely a nice welcome change. And you could also transport those vehicles. And with a vehicle like the Avenger, it could make it very useful. And special mention number two is the Mark II customization bench. This was a little good and bad because the bad thing I didn't like about the bench was the fact that it wasn't in the bunker when it first launched. You had to buy an MOC or an Avenger. It was kind of a paywall with it. But what was nice about the weapons bench was that there was just so many different customizations with the guns. And there was, you know, different types of barrels. There was um, different types of magazines, different types of ammo, different types of scopes that you could put on the guns. And, you know, it added a nice customization and it made a lot of the guns better. The unfortunate thing is that I'm worried for the future of GTA Online guns. Because of the Mark II weapons, we haven't had a new weapon in years. They've just been giving us Mark II weapons. So while it is a nice feature, I do hope that we have other new weapons in the future. And number one, the best feature added to GTA Online is businesses. Businesses are the best thing that have been added into the game because they made free mode what it is now today. Think about it this way. Imagine if we never had any businesses. What would free mode look like today? A lot of people, they got in the game because of the businesses. And the businesses, they added a steady player base over time. Without them, there would be very little to do. It would almost be like late 2013 on the Xbox 360 and the PS3 where everyone would just be constantly killing each other over and over again in free mode. 
businesses, they added something completely new, a property you could purchase and do jobs from, and you could do it in free mode to build up stock and sell it. The first business we received were the CEO cargo warehouses with further adventures in finance and felony. Then we received the biker businesses in October 2016 in the bikers update and the import export warehouse in December 2016. We have also received the hangar and smugglers run, the bunker and gun running, and the nightclub and after hours. The businesses come in so many different types that it adds variety to the game. It's not the same where you're just grinding the same business over and over again, but you have multiple different ones. You have cargo collections like the CEO crate warehouse and the hangar, and you have passive businesses businesses like the MC businesses, the bunker, and the nightclub. You also have a unique car stealing business, which is the import-export warehouse. These added so many unique activities that you could do, and you didn't always need a team like in heists. Some businesses, you need more people to help you sell at the end, but you can always fill them up by yourself. This added life to free mode, and I didn't even mention the best part. These businesses, they added the ability to make so much money that we weren't able to make before. Remember the old days when we would grind heists or contact missions all day? We still got nowhere near what these businesses make us today. Today, you can run multiple businesses. For example, buy supplies for your bunker and your MC businesses, let them produce, and in the meantime, do other activities like steal import-export vehicles, source crates, or do VIP work or even do a heist. There's just so much to do in between, and these businesses, they added life to the game, and they made us millions. I'm almost up to $630 million just using all of them, and I will eventually, I'll grind up to a billion dollars. I really hope the next update, whatever it is, it adds a new business. That's what GT Online really needs. A lot of players have been asking for a new one. Give us a new property, make it fun and profitable, and I guarantee you, it will be a successful update. And that is that for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you're new to my channel and enjoy my content, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.